This is the plaintiff, Eva Alleman. She says the defendant's dog killed her dog one day when he got out from his electrified fence and the defendant promised he'd pay the costs of the cremation and also pay for a new dog. A week later, the louse changed his mind, reneging on their deal, and she's not going to take the law into her own hands. She's taking him to court to get the $1,000 she's most definitely owed. This is the defendant, Nicholas Satriano. He says the plaintiff's dog was running loose on the day in question and came over to his house and started harassing his dog. Unfortunately, his dog reacted in a protective manner and a fight ensued. It's very unfortunate the plaintiff's dog was killed, but a Yorkie versus a pit bull usually doesn't work out well for the Yorkie. He's accused of going back on his word. All parties, please raise your right hands. What you are about to witness is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in civil court. Both parties have agreed to drop their claims and have their cases settled here before Judge Marilyn Millian in our forum, the People's Court. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're okay, Ms. Aleman, you are suing Mr. Satriano for $1,000. The cost for you to replace a Yorkie that you say was killed at the hands of his dog and cremation costs. Tell me what happened. Um, I wasn't there when this happened. At the time, um, it was in my husband's um, house because we got divorced and we cheered times together. Um, you what? We share the dogs together, times, days. You share custody of the dogs? Yes. Okay. Kind of. No, it's not custody because it's not by money, but. <laughs> but well, it could be custody by time also. Custody yes, isn't by just time. money. Yes, Go yes. ahead. And at the time they were within. Uh, how, how often do you switch the dogs? Uh, whenever I want to take them, I go get them. Hey, I'm going to pick them up or whatever. So. How's that been working out? Pretty good. How long have you been doing it? Uh, since we got divorced. Um, I can't remember when that is. How long, long was that? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, two years and a wow. half. Oh, okay. Well, two years. Well. So the dogs are with your ex, and yes. where's your ex right now? He works for the IRS, and he's... Uh, he didn't he, want to come to court? He couldn't come. So. Well, you could have set this on a day he could come. So, yes, but he's he not the one come. who filed the lawsuit. It's you, right? Yeah. All right, so the dogs are with him, and what he happened? He knows I'm going to fight. I'm going to... Okay. Five for it. Okay. So the dogs were with him, and what happened? Um, it's three dogs? Well, there was three dogs. The toy poodle died in September, so ended up with two. The jerky and the chorky. Chihuahua and jerky. And those two... That's called a chorky? Chorky. See, chihuahua and jerky. Okay. Chorky. And, uh, and uh, at the time, they were with him. So, okay, so it's just the two dogs were there? Yes, ma'am. What happened? Um... Uh, my neighbor called me first to tell me the news. And when she started transplaining the news, my ex-husband called me on the other line. So I hang out this one, I pick up this one, because he doesn't call me for nothing unless it's an emergency. So he called me from the bed telling me that Buddy died. I lost it. Aww. I cry. Um, Buddy is which one, the Yorkie? And how old was, was Buddy? I'm so sorry. How old was Buddy? I'm sorry? Want to give you some water, please? Thank you. How old was Buddy? Eight. Eight. All right, and just, did somebody see what happened? That you said a neighbor had called? Is this a neighbor of where your husband's living? Yeah, the house we shared together. Okay, My husband kept it. Stayed there. Okay. Yes. So your former neighbor calls to tell you what? Take a second. My neighbor windows is next to where that body was attacked. And uh, she heard a whining. She came outside and she saw Mr. Nick's dogs. Over body. Mr. Nick's dog's dog over, over Buddy's body? Yes. Where were the two dogs? Do, does anybody have an affidavit from the neighbor? A statement from the neighbor who no, saw it? No, no. Okay, so the neighbor tells you that she sees his dog over your dog where? 
on her butt, on his body, mauling him. No, where geographically, on what piece of land? I got pictures of the everything. Where geographically, on what piece of land? On your husband's property? On um, his property? No, on, on the my neighbor's husband's property? property size of the house, where the trash can goes, mostly. Were the dogs on your husband's property? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, which dog of his was I it? don't remember because I was... What kind of dogs do you have? I have uh, two pit bulls. Oh, well, it was a pit bull. Uh, on, on, on your husband's property, over your dog. Yes. And that, that neighbor then went to your husband's property, took the pit bull off, and did what? Um, while she was doing that, my other neighbor went to my husband, my ex-husband's house, knock on the door to let him know what happened. He came out, picked up body, um, took it to the bed, but it, unfortunately he didn't make it. Okay. Can you come over to the board for me and show me maybe you could draw for me the property? I proper got the picture. Okay, but I don't know the pictures. Unless you took them from a helicopter, are going to help me. Does, does everybody have a fence? This is the house. No, don't explain to my bailiff. Come on over here. Okay. This is the house. The side yard is right here. You're going to see another picture right here. And this is his house. Okay, so how did your dog get from your husband's place to that place? No, he didn't. He go. didn't. So that dog came, came from his place over to your husband's yes, yard? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Is your husband's property all fenced in? Yes. So the fence is a wooden fence, and the fence goes all the way around yes. the backyard. Yeah. Where is the window? Is that the window? That's that my neighbor's window. So how did the neighbor see what happened if there's an eight-foot fence blocking no, her from no. seeing? She heard the whining. And when she came out, she saw Buddy right there. Where did she see Buddy? See the mark right here? Okay, so, no I don't, but okay, so <laughs> Buddy's right there, so Buddy's outside the fence. Outside the fence, yes. How did Buddy get outside the fence? Um, they, um, they're trained to be in the area, so sometimes they come outside, we open the door um, for them to come outside, and we stay with them. Who outside. had opened the door for Buddy to go outside? Uh, my ex-husband. So your ex-husband had left Buddy On the roaming. Back. Yeah. So Buddy was roaming and the pit bull was roaming. Yeah. Go ahead and go back. What did you hear and how did you hear it? Go ahead and go back. I'll be back with you in a second. The first thing I heard was uh, knocking my door from one of the neighbors and she was telling me that my dog had just killed another dog. So first thing I did was try to find my dog and make How'd sure How'd your dog get out, sir? Uh, he either jumped over the fence or, or dug under it. Yeah, I didn't see any holes. So yeah, he, he jumped over it. Had, your had either of your dogs escaped in the past? No, they don't. What is this a picture of? Um, the first time that I saw the dogs, I took a picture. I think those are the dogs. And that's him, his house, and the two dogs. Are they on a leash in this picture? No. Nope. Why are your dogs uh, not on a leash in this picture? I was putting them in the back of the car right there. Yeah, but we know, this is after your dog killed the dog? That's after, yes. Really? Yeah. That was really? the other day. You roam around with your pit bulls without having them on leash after your dog kills a dog? What if, what if somebody's walking their little Yorkie across the street, dude? Would you, it's just your world, that's all you gotta worry about is your world and your, your, your you know, uh, like, like you're living somewhere alone in, in 30 acres of land as opposed to that you have neighbors. The dog had already killed a dog? I mean, come on. I don't blame your dog, I blame you. The dogs are dogs, they're animals. But, you know, what's this? What did you hear? Um. <laughs> I heard that my dog killed another dog, so first thing I did was go over there to apologize. That's what I did. She was just uh, crying, so I tried to talk to her ex-husband. He was calm with the situation, uh, and then we came to an agreement. He said, all right, I want you to pay for the uh, cremation bill. Did you? Well, I agreed to it. Yeah, did you pay the I, cremation bill? I did not. Why haven't you paid it yet? Well, I didn't pay it because then uh, about a day or so later, I'm talking to her ex-husband and her again, and she says, okay, we don't want this $300. I want you to go on Craigslist and find me a new dog. So I said, well, what dog on Craigslist? She said, anyone will do. So at that point, I'm kind of confused. Any Yorkie would do? No, any dog, she said. Just any dog on Craigslist? Any dog Why would she be Craigslist? so reasonable? And then what? Uh, at that point, I'm like, all right, this is not... This Why not? 
doesn't seem right that someone would say, buy me any dog. What difference what does if, it make? What if I you got her? off easy. Like, what, but why, why, why not? Like, why, what, what about what happened makes you feel that you have no responsibility for any of it? Well, I do have a responsibility, but what, what do you if think I, your responsibility is? To pay the, the cremation bill, and that, that sounds about, that's why? it. Why? So your dog kills a dog, and all you got to do is pay to bury it? That's it? I don't know. Really? You sound pretty heartless. And I know you're just kind of like, you know, a first class jerk because after your dog eats a dog, you're just such a macho man that while you're rigging your boat and your Jeep and everything else, you got your two dogs on leash. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. We are uh, in LA uh, next to the TMZ celebrity tour bus um, with all these fine tourists. We decided we talked to people from all over the country about People's Court cases and maybe even TMZ. Uh, so in this case, this sad case, you have a Yorkie and a Pitbull both off leash and uh, one of the dogs kills the other dog. Is the Pitbull owner responsible because both dogs were off leash? No, not responsible at all. The owner didn't keep the dogs on a leash then. It did what it did and it happened what it happened. Both dogs off leash, the pit bull wins, if you will. Is the pit bull owner response? I don't think so because they both are off leash, so they both were against the law, so. By the way, where are you from? North Carolina. Really? Where North Carolina? Raleigh, North Carolina. Ooh. Do you know I almost lived there once, I swear to God? It's great, it's a great place. Wow, okay, nice meeting you. Going inside the courtroom. Let's, you and I talk. What is Buddy doing in the part of the yard that is not fenced in? unsupervised. And I understand that Buddy is a Yorkie and Yorkies are not exactly vicious, you know, wolves. However, your dog is unleashed also. Yes. Um, like I said, they're well-trained. They know. No, no, there's not a matter of well-trained. You have an obligation like everybody else does My to keep your dog within your control. The dogs, the, the, the laws are not relaxed when they're little yappy cats that bark. It's still a dog that's unleashed, you understand that. In other words, if your dog had been on a leash and within your control, somebody might have seen the pit bull coming, scoop the dog up, the dog would be alive. If your dog had been inside the yard, um, the pit bull may not have gone in there. There is some responsibility on the part of, of your side as well for that dog being on the property unleashed, unsupervised. You understand that, right? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> You're suing for pain and suffering. I understand how attached we get to our pets, and I can clearly see how painful this was for you. But the, unfortunately, the law does not recognize pain and suffering for this kind of a case. We consider dogs, even though all of us think of them as family members, the law considers them property. And you can't get pain and suffering on a property case. What the law assesses when we're, when we're in this kind of a situation is the culpability of the adults, the humans who were involved, okay? And the culpability of the humans involved is kind of equal, is kind of equal. Um, I, I consider it far worse to have your pit bull roaming loose than your Yorkie, but, it's the same, but that's because of the dogs. And I have to remember that you cannot assess the blame on the dogs. You gotta assess the blame on the adults. So I have a Yorkie on its own property because you think it's safe because it's well, because uh, it's well trained. And I have a pit bull not on its own property because he doesn't care, just like he didn't care after that when he's roaming around with it. So where do I assess? What percentage do I assess? Is that equal culpability on the part of the two dog owners? Maybe not. Maybe it's not 50-50 culpability. Even though both of you violated the same law, which is to have your dog unleashed. Maybe it's just worse to be a pit bull owner and have your pit bull get loose all the time or be loose on multiple occasions. Maybe that is worse. I'm ordering you to pay her the cost of two thirds of the cost of cremation as well as the cost of a puppy. You owe her 452 her and him, $452.66. And out he comes, the defendant right here. How do you think you looked in there? Uh, I looked kind of disrespectful, I kind of see that. Yeah. 
it looks like your heart's not really there. You know, uh, it's not going out to the, to the person who was victimized is what it looks like. How's that not? Tell us how that's not you. Or is it? Well, under pressure, I kind of came off a little heartless, and uh, I, I do feel bad about how I acted to the, to the plaintiff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next thing you have to do is make sure this never happens again. How are you going to do that? Well, it's got to start by keeping my dogs on leashes. Okay. All right. Around the corner this way. You poor thing. Yes. How are you? How are you? Not good. No. Well, you're smiling. Yes. You're crying and you're smiling. Yes. What's going on? It's just sad. And I miss him a lot. So. Mm -hmm. And it's sad that, I, I mean, like adults were responsible for what you got. But you know yours is more dangerous than mine. Keep it safe. Okay. Okay, Harvey. I gotta tell you, Kurt, this defendant is a problem. Uh, if you have dogs roaming in the neighborhood like this, call animal control and they will do something about it and ultimately remove the dog from the neighborhood.